Okay, so using that algorithm, we're going to swap these two corners. So here it goes, I'm going to walk you through it nice and slow. Make sure you've got the correct ones over here. One, zero, slash. Zero, negative three, slash. Three, zero, slash, negative three, zero. Negative three, three. Negative three, zero, two, zero. So now, as you can see, your corners are solved. Like I said, if they're diagonals, do that algorithm once. It should make sure that there's. It will make sure that there's two that are next to each other. Put them off to the side and then perform the algorithm like I showed you. So there, it keeps looking like it's actually coming together now. This next part. Uh, is sort of tricky. What you want to do is get two edges correct on the top, and I already have two, so I just need to pop those out real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this one I've got one edge, and I'm just going to put another one in place using logic. And this trick I showed you earlier turn the bottom 30 degrees. Uh, this is how we do this turn the bottom 30 degrees, twist, bring it back. Turn the top 30 degrees, twist, bring it back easy enough. Um, so I just gotta undo that now. Alright, so what you want to do here is get the edge you want up there in the front. In the front, go into the back on the top. So turn it off to the side there, bring it around, that line's corner up next to it. Straighten it out, bring the top over, and that should pop it right in place. So now you've got two edges on the top, and that's about the most you're going to get. If you're lucky, you may have gotten three by accident, but every time you do that algorithm, it pops out the front edge here, so it's pretty tricky to get one across from each other. If you have two across from each other, that's fine. Just get as many edges as you can on the top. You don't even have to get any if you want, but this method is the best. Get two edges. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this really, really long algorithm to switch uh, two edges, only two. It doesn't mess anything up somehow. So right now, I'm going to put just one of the top edges in place. That's all you want to do for right now. Put one top edge in place. Um, and right now I've got this orange yellow up here, uh, red white down here. It needs to go right up there. Okay, so position them there. Easy enough. And you are going to do one of the longest algorithms in twisty puzzle history. So, have fun memorizing that one. I'm pretty sure I got it entirely correct. If I did not, please let me know as soon as possible so I can go back and correct it, okay? It's very easy to get long algorithms like that messed up. Um, although I double checked it and it should have worked. So, um, yeah, memorize that. That must be like 30 moves at least. Uh, if you count the slash as a move in the top and the bottom. So, um, all you do is get those two edges you want to switch line up above each other. And uh, maybe you're only solving one at a time. If you're lucky, you get to solve two. But for now, we're just going to get one right here. That's fine. Switching these two. All right. So here's the algorithm. Negative three. Three. And this algorithm's a bit trickier. I usually use this one up here for reference. You know, this one usually stays the same. One. Zero. 2, negative 2, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, negative 4, 4, slash, um, 0, negative 1, wait, let's see, no, 0, 1, sorry, 0, 1, 0, negative 3, no, zero, three. Um, okay, there we go. Negative three, negative one. I'm having trouble talking today. One, negative two. Negative one, zero. Never do a slash and last move. You usually don't. Um, okay. Now, as you can see, we've got three edges on the top. You should have done the same. 
Uh, now what we do is we just slowly chip away at it. Leave this edge for last because if you sell the top, then you leave yourself with the bottom all messed up, and that could be annoying. So we're going to put the orange ones in place slowly. I've got uh, orange white right here, and make sure that this one isn't the one that needs to go up there. In case it is, switch this edge with some random other one, then go back and do it. Um, or then just go on from there. So in this case, works out fine. Let me do that algorithm. these ones, orange blue, orange yellow. Alright, I screwed up, but I'm in a situation that's basically the same as yellow, except the colors are different. I've got one edge missing on the top, two edges missing on the bottom. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to screw up with those long algorithms, and it's quite depressing because you have to go all the way back and almost solve the whole cube again. Um, Alright, so right here, I'm going to switch these two. I'm not going to mess up this time. just got to switch these last two edges, but I am just about out of time, so I'll continue that in the next part.